hello guys you welcome back to my channel this is me and your girl and i'm super excited to have you back on my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're my subscriber i really do appreciate you coming back so in today's video i will be sharing with you why most nigerian and african marriages in general do not survive outside the shores of africa I'll be sharing with you why African marriages abroad are breaking up. I'd love for you to understand why this is happening. I have four different reasons. The first one being the true reality of life abroad. Now, Nigerians have the saying, who no go no no. It means if you've never been there, then you do not understand. When people come abroad, especially say wives, let's say their husbands have been working abroad and then they felt like it's time to go back home to get married, to get a wife. Now they go back home, they get married, they get a wife, they bring the wife over there. But let's just say this particular wife had over expectations of life abroad. Now coming abroad, now she sees the true picture of life abroad. That it's not easy that it's not what they see in the movies where people go abroad with one box and come back with three boxes all loaded with cash that that is not the true reality of life abroad now they begin to understand that in order for you to earn a living in order for you to survive life abroad that you need to work literally walk your ass off so they come to the realization that life abroad is not easy so because of the situation that same person may decide to start working in order to help her husband now this is the whole picture of how it all starts now this lady starts to work and when this lady starts to work just in order to make a living and in order to help her husband whom she sees is not finding things easy because of life abroad then things begin to change the next point being the african man mentality now this woman begins to work and then she's trying to help her husband who in question has this whole loaded African man mentality where he feels that the woman has to do everything at home. Now, this woman goes to work, she comes back home, she's terribly tired, but this whole African mentality that is in this man will not let him see that this lady is trying to help him, that this woman is trying to help the family instead of him to help his wife out, instead of him to say, oh, my lovely wife is trying to help me, oh, my lovely wife is trying to make ends meet. Oh, my lovely wife is trying to contribute to the growth of the family. Let me help her reduce this thing. So this woman comes home tired, but then this man expects her to also do the house chores. She continues to do the house chores. Believe me, I know of life abroad. She continues to do the house chores, go to work, come back to the house chores. On her off day, she's doing the house chores. And then finally, she begins to think that why should I be the only one doing the house chores when I am also bringing in financially into this house? You are bringing in financially into this house. I am bringing in financially into this house. So why is the house chores just dedicated to me? And then she begins to ask for help. And then she begins to seek for help. And probably this guy doesn't want to help. Probably this guy is filled with this whole African man mentality. And that is when little, little, little issues begin to steam up in that marriage. Yes, this is the second reason. Remember, the true picture of coming abroad was not what she saw when she came. The true picture 
of abroad led her into working because if she were to be at home she would not complain of doing the house chores if she were to be at home maybe doing a business and the man working I'm sure she'll be able to manage the house chores and also manage her business but now because she has to work she is now being overloaded with house chores and also work now she tries to seek for help but help is not forthcoming from this man with his african man mentality which moves us to the next stage now remember that this woman is in a new place she sees that this is not how it is done at all the new way of life starts to get into her she starts to meet friends she starts to meet colleagues she starts to meet people from various nationalities definitely they will start to talk definitely they will start to chat and then she gets to realize that her life is actually overloaded because she's going to work she's doing this imagine when her colleague comes to work and says oh i'm gonna go eat my husband made this remember that this lady has colleagues and they will definitely share their own way of life they will definitely share how it is happening with them you will hear colleagues say oh i need to go eat this it happens all the time where i am a colleague of mine when we go for break will say oh my husband made this food so delicious i'm like oh your husband knows how to cook I'm like oh yes he does most of the cooking <laughs> Wahala, don't they come? You see? So she would start to realize that things are not the way that we learn from home. That women are supposed to do everything. She would start to reason that, oh no, if people can do it, if other men of other nationalities can do it, why can't he do it for me? If other men are helping out their wives at home, why can't he do it? Plus, remember the wife, uh, life abroad is 50-50. The man does house chores. The woman does house chores. There is no, it's a woman's job. It's a man's job. Like, they live in the house knowing that everything concerning the house is their own business. Both hers and his. So there is no, it is your job. It's your, it's your work. You're the woman, do it. The way the African man mentality is. So this woman begins to try to seek for help from her husband. But help is not forthcoming. So this starts to cause issues in their marriage. Because imagine where a woman would go to work and come back home. And she's pretty, pretty tired. But then her husband needs her to go cook. I know what I'm telling you. Because... I have been in a situation where we as ladies came together to discuss this and we African women were not finding it funny. But the thing is, we are still African women and we understand that we do the house chores but African men should also understand that this is causing an issue when it concerns women. So some of these women who are not so understanding, who are not so lenient to shoulder this body in themselves they begin to revolt they begin to revolt because life where they are is totally different life where they are they see something different they see the man doing chores they see the man taking out trash cleaning the house taking care of the children and they want this to start happening but it is not forthcoming some husbands do it some husbands do it, to be honest with you. They also change with whatever they see. And these or these are those ones who move with change. But there are those ones who are so into this whole African mentality thing and do not want change to occur in their lives. So they continue to make the woman go through this. And then the woman in question decides that enough is enough she's not gonna do it anymore and this is where trouble comes because they begin to shift the blame on her they begin to change everything and that is where you hear african men they start to say 
but a woman is now acting up just because she's working, just because she's making money, just because she's contributing to the family, which is very true because they should think about the fact that she is doing this and that is why she is tired and not able to do those house chores and help her. But no, they did not think about it. Instead, they decided to let her suffer both by working, doing the job and making money and also coming to do the house chores. And this is where the whole African marriage thing starts to shake. This is where they start to have serious issues. The man thinking the woman is not submissive anymore because she's making money. She doesn't want to do the house chores, but he's not looking at himself to see where this whole thing is coming from. That is something else. Now, to crown it all, there is also that portion of women who actually get power intoxicated. Yes. For example, when these women start working, some of them, they begin to earn maybe more than the man. Because, believe it or not, women are going far and high in life these days. So, let's just say she begins to earn more than her husband, and then she's beginning to bring in like a whole lot into the family. Some women cannot manage a bit of power in their lives. Therefore, they get intoxicated and then they feel that because this is happening, that they shouldn't respect their husbands anymore. And they feel that because they have huge salaries and they are bringing a lot of money into the house, then they shouldn't bend to their husbands anymore. They shouldn't respect him. They shouldn't cook for him. They shouldn't do all the good things or all the right things that they're supposed to do as wives. And this is a big problem. So power intoxication is something that actually pushes some of those women to start to act up so much so that they will even call police on their husbands. Because we know how these things work. We are Africans and we know this is a taboo. We know it is not allowed. I would only agree to this if this man is physically abusing a woman or he's doing something dangerous to the woman. But if it's just a normal argument or quarrel between a wife and a husband that usually can happen to some couples and you the woman calling police on that man is terribly terribly not allowed but i just wanted to share with you why some of these marriages why most marriages abroad do not survive and these are the causes why they don't survive Power intoxication, over expectancy. It wasn't what they expected coming abroad. The new way of life. Women, you know, having the power abroad, which they usually do not have at home. Because, of course, at home, the men are always over the women. So now, life abroad, she's changing and she's beginning to see the true picture of how things are. But to crown it all, in a very understanding marriage where the couple, they are willing to make things work, where the couple, where they are understanding, it will never degenerate to a point whereby they break up or someone else calls police on the other person or throws one person out of the house. I just wanted to share with you my findings of why African marriages abroad are breaking up. The most important reason being the African mentality of the man and the power intoxication that may fall on the woman when she starts to earn so much. So without further ado, to have a lovely day, to have a happy day, stay happy, stay blessed and bye-bye.